Let's talk guitar noises. Get it all the time. Just had a question come up in a group. All right, we're gonna talk about ground noise. We're gonna talk about 60 cycle hum, and we're gonna talk about noiseless positions and humbuckers. All right, what I'm gonna do is, is I got my phone about, my guitar amps down there probably about one foot away, one foot, my phone's about a foot elevated from my guitar amp. I'm sitting about two feet from my guitar amp. And what I'm gonna do is, is I'm gonna take my deluxe reverb and I'm gonna crank it on 10. So that's deluxe reverb on 10. If you can see that. All right. All right. Now, I'm gonna do some gain staging here so we can make some of this noise higher up. All right. Ground noise. See if I can make it look, you can hear it without the strings making noise. Ground noise. Not 60 cycle hum. That buzzing, the popping, crackling, it's gonna go away whenever I touch the bridge. All guitars do that to some point. Some guitars are worse than others. Depending on where I go and play my guitar and amp and rig depends on how noisy it is. My wiring in my house is noisy. There's nothing I can do to stop that other than buying a very, very expensive power conditioner. Now, I'm gonna put some gain on it. EP booster, clean boost. Nothing to it. So I'm gonna try and come off the strings, keep them from making noise. All right. Hear it, it's gonna start feeding back. All right, it's gonna stop whenever I touch grounded parts, like, let's see here, the jack plate, it's grounded. The screws, because it's grounded to the back of the switch plate. All right, this is a regular fender pick guard, it's got like a silver little, the film, the adhesive film stuff is stuck to the back of there. This is a regular 250K harness. I built the harness. I made the pickups. The pickups are 100% potted. I potted the pickups. All right, let's put some gain on this thing. So two screamer into clean boost into cranked deluxe reverb. <laughs> into EP booster, into crank deluxe reverb. What you're gonna notice is you're gonna start hearing microphonics. You can hear me talk through the pickup. All pickups are microphonic to some point, some worse than others. These pickups are 100% potted, not kind of potted, they're really potted. Like I put them in wax myself until the bubble stopped coming out. All pickups do this to some degree. You can't stop it. All right. Let's talk about 60 cycle hum. These are true single coils. Right now it's in position four, which is supposed to be hum canceling. Now, you might hear a slight 60 cycle hum. The reason why that is, is because these coils are not perfectly matched. These pickups get progressively hotter as they go down towards the bridge. If I took two coils and wound them exactly the same way, with exactly the same rounds, and they come out exactly the same, and then it would cancel the 60 cycle hum. These are reverse wound, reverse polarity, like any standard strap pickup set. Alnico 5 magnets, of course that doesn't matter. What matters is, is the orientation of the magnet pull and also the coil, how the coil's wound or, or connected to the switch. So, once again, uh, tube screamer into EP booster into crank deluxe reverb. We're gonna go from position four a little bit of hum we're gonna go to the neck position you're gonna hear the 60 cycle hum that everybody that annoys everybody 
Here he goes. Sixty cycle hum. That's sixty cycle hum. You can still hear it just a little bit. I'm gonna go to the middle position. Next. Sixty cycle hum. All right. So one of the things that we need to talk about is um, the copper shielding, shielding paint, all that stuff. This has a little shielding thing stuck to the back of the pit guard like we've talked about. That does nothing, nothing whatsoever, nothing at all. All right, so radio frequency interference is what causes noise in guitar circuits outside of 60 cycle hum and bad wiring that, that's being gain staged by your pedals, by your guitar amp, by, by the wiring coming in, the, the power source that the amp's plugged into, the power source that the pedals are plugged to. So I got this, this light right here. What we're gonna do is, is it's in position four, so it's not noisy as I'll get out. All right, I'm gonna turn my light on, okay? And the radio, radio frequency interference from the light is gonna make noise through the amp. So whenever I start to point this light, at the pickups all right it's on the high setting I'm gonna turn it down and because the light has a lower frequency it's gonna sound different it's gonna have a lower tone all right I'm gonna put it in the neck position there's no pedals on, just a cranked deluxe reverb. I'm gonna put it in the neck position. Your little 60 cycle hum. And the reason why I put it in that is because what we're gonna do is, is we're gonna take, all right, nothing. Nothing on tone, nothing on tone. You can hear it a little bit because we're getting closer to the pickups. Nothing on the switch. Nothing, nothing. Radio frequency interference. Shielding is not going to fix that. You cannot shield at all to fix that. Having humbuckers will not fix radio frequency interference. It won't do it. It can't happen. And I'm gonna prove it to you. So, if copper shielding, being metal shielding, whether it be the little shield in here or the shield behind a set of pickups because sometimes the, that stick on stuff goes up behind the pickups. If it worked for quieting down guitars, then we, we shouldn't be able to put anything in front of the pickups metal-wise that would cause that radio frequency interference. So, got some tinfoil here. All right. We're still in the neck position. All right. All right. And let's say, let's do this. Not touching the strings, not touching anything. Doesn't change. If I get closer to the pickup, doesn't change and that's two layers of tinfoil does nothing shielding does zero to the noise of a guitar nothing all right if shielding is going to work in any way shape or form absent of radio frequency interference it would require you to shield the entire cavity shield the back of the plate shield the face of the pickup shield all around the coil and every single piece of shielding would have to be grounded together to create a Faraday cage. And even then, it's not gonna stop radio frequency interference of an electric guitar pickup. All right, so here's 60 cycle hum. Position four, noiseless, a little bit of hum. I can put some gain on it. Tube screamer into clean boost. Hear it a little bit. 
can really hear it whenever I put it in the neck position. All right, now we're gonna get a guitar with some humbuckers in it. All right. position because it's further away from the controls once again light radio frequency interference nothing on the knobs nothing on the switch right whenever I hover over wait a second I thought that was a humbucker it's not supposed to hum what's going on it's because no pickup is immune to radio frequency interference there's no amount of shielding that you can do. There's no amount of grounding that you can do. And that guitar having true single coils in it, see if we can make this thing, see if we can get some. All right, there's my ground noise. Some guitars are better than others. And, and I wired both of these guitars. And I'll go ahead and tell you right now, I, I, I might be biased, but you can't get any better wiring harness or any more better grounding than what I put in it. All right, whenever I touch the hard parts, that noise goes away. Let's see if I can do it without string noise. Let's see if I'm. It's probably going to feed back like crazy. All right. Now. Radio frequency interference on humbuckers and shielding. Let's see if I can do this without making all this stuff, all this noise. All right, shielding. I'm not going to touch the strings with the stuff. All right, radio frequency interference. Controls, nothing. Bridge pick up, middle pick up. All right, let's recap ground noise, pops, buzzes. Sometimes you can describe it as a hum. 60 cycle hum. It happens in single coils. It actually happens in all pickups unless both coils are wound perfectly identical and cancel out 100% of all the 60 cycle hum from the other coil because one's pushing, one's pulling. All right. Cavity shielding does not work. Period. It is a waste of time. It might, maybe, sometimes, maybe net you a gain of 1% to 2% quieter guitar in a, in a bar or, or somewhere where you're playing where it's got a lot of fluorescent lights, bright lights, a lot of TVs, a lot of stuff plugged into the same power outlets that you're that you got your stuff in because electric guitar pickups or magnets and coils it and the string wags in front of the magnet creating voltage it gets sent through the the wiring harness wiring harnesses don't produce any voltage or electricity they divide voltage and electricity and it sends it to the to the, your pedals your pedals increase the gain that gain gets put into the next pedal which might increase gain and then it gets sent to the amp and once again remember that is a cranked deluxe reverb Crank Deluxe Reverb. It's pretty quiet. Pretty proud of that, by the way. It's George Alessandro, hand-wired Deluxe 